What's up, and Fnatic Tech Fnatic 9 here from Ultimate Draw at Blackstar.com. With me another Galaxy S3, I'm gonna show you how to install Clock on Mad Recovery on any type of Galaxy S3. <clears throat> so this will work for T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, US Cellular, i9-300, also known as the international version, and even the Canadian version, which is T999D. So this works for any type of Galaxy S3 possible. So it's the ultimate guide for installing Clock on Mad Recovery on your Samsung Galaxy S3. So right we're going to enter our phone into download mode. Also, this will not delete any uh, applications or settings from your phone, so it's very safe to do. You do not have to back up any photos, applications, settings, or email, or any contacts, or anything like that. Very safe to do. Okay, now we're going to enter our phone into download mode. So press the volume down, home button, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding until the volume down, and home center button. All three. Vibration, let go power. You'll be on this screen. Press the volume up to continue. And now you'll see this screen. Once you see this screen, plug in your phone in via micro USB. And we'll be doing the rest of the process on our computer. Okay, make sure your phone is still plugged in. And uh, it still has downloading on the screen. And now you can see on my desktop I have two files. One is called Galaxy S3 Recovery, and the other one calls is one, one is called Odin. And in Galaxy S3 Recovery, as you can see, have multiple names for multiple phones. So you're going to be downloading one of these for your specific device. First one's for AT&T, second one's Can Canadian, uh, i9-300 is the next one for International, Sprint, T-Mobile, US Cellular, and Verizon. So only download one and make sure you download the correct one. It will be a tar file, so you can see tar at the end. So make sure you download the correct one, only download one, and as always, I have all links in the description below that were mentioned in this video. And the other one, I have uh, Odin. So I'm going to open Odin, and open up Odin, the actual program. And now you'll be on this screen. Make sure you have the yellow bar right away. If you don't, try a different USB port, and make sure you have Samsung keys installed on your actual computer. If you don't have it installed, I will also have a link in the description below for the link to the to download the Samsung keys. So if you don't have it, try it on computer still if you try both methods. So we're gonna click on PDA and we're gonna locate the tar file. Mine is T-Mobile, so I'm gonna be selecting T-Mobile. Yours might say Sprint, US Cellular, Verizon, Canadian, it, it doesn't matter, just select the correct one. So we got the PDA selected, we have the yellow bar, and now we're gonna uncheck auto reboot. Or we can actually leave it uh, check mark, sorry about that. You can leave auto reboot check mark if you want. It doesn't matter. So auto reboot can be checkmarked, and now we're gonna click start. And now it will give you recovery, it'll say pass. If it says fail, restart your computer and try again. And if that still doesn't work, try a different computer. That's the fastest method to fix it. If you don't have access to a friend's computer or another computer, you can just uh, contact me, and I, I'll help you out uh, trying to figure out the problem for that computer. So it says pass now. And on my phone, it is rebooting. So uh, it installed Clock on My Recovery. It's rebooting into the normal one. Once it fini finishes rebooting, we'll enter into Clock on My Recovery, and I'll, I'll show you that it's actually installed Clock on My Recovery on your Galaxy S3. So you can unplug your phone. Uh, my phone already rebooted, as you can see. And we're getting to the Clock on My Recovery. So just power it off. Give it a goodbye, and we're gonna enter into Clock on My Recovery. Okay, now press the volume up, home center button, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding onto the volume up, and home center button. So all three, volume up, home center, power, let go of the power when you feel a vibration. So let go. And this will enter into clock or mode recovery mode. So as you can see right there, let me zoom in, get a better look at that. And now you can install uh, custom ROMs. As you can see, you have installs of SD card, uh, wipe data, and all that. So now you have the ability to install custom ROMs, uh, custom ROMs, themes, tweaks, all those zip files that you get from XDA and other forums for uh, Galaxy S3. So enjoy uh, custom ROMs, themes, tweaks, all that. That's really useful and helpful. And uh, it will keep you from getting bored of your uh, phone because there's endless amount of customization that you can make to your phone. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you found this video helpful, and as always, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up, and if you like Android, you like, uh, if you want to know more uh, rooting videos, uh, tips, tricks on Galaxy S3 and all that, 
hit that subscribe button because this video is all about or this channel is all about Android and nothing but Android because I'm an Android fanatic. I'll see you next video. Enjoy your Galaxy S3 that has Clockwork Mode Recovery. Enjoy your custom ROMs. See ya. And one last thing, if you need help on on this installing it, or if you just need help on any Android related device problem, you can contact me through Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and email. All links are in the description below. I will respond within 24 hours. See ya. Yeah.